Hey YouTube, uh, I'm King78 here. Uh, man, doing a lot of videos today, but this is one I can't, I can't ignore from doing. For the simple fact that this is a grudge match that I am very excited to watch. Of course, I'm talking about KJ Noons versus Nate Nick Diaz too. I said Nate, dummy, dummy, dummy. KJ News vs. Nick Diaz 2 is a fight that took place in Lead XC uh, before the demise. And um, it was for a title fight. I, I believe it was 165 pounds. KJ News came in with a really damn good game plan and beat Nick Diaz. Um, I think he's the first and only guy that I've seen cut Nick three times in one fight and walked away unscathed. That says a lot. And on top of that, that was the first time that I remember people saying that Nick Diaz um, suffered from scar tissue. And I'm like, really? I didn't really notice it. I, I guess I didn't pay attention. I, I didn't look at the guy's eyebrows, not inspecting his face. But apparently he got surgery after that fight, similar to the one that Vandalay Silva did, um, to, to sort of shave down the, the eyebrow to, to keep the, the tissue from, from opening up so easy. So, in fact, now it's harder to open up the old wounds. I think Marcus Davis did the same thing, maybe, or should soon. Um, actually, that's ironic, because Nick's younger brother beat him down. Anyway, um, yeah, KJ News came in with a really good game plan. This is a guy who came into MMA from the boxing scene, really developed well. Uh, suffered an early loss. I remember his first loss um, to the hands of uh, uh, what's his face, Crazy Horse, Charles Bennett, and um, KJ was young. You could tell that he was relative, relatively inexperienced compared to how he is now. And for him to beat Nick Diaz um, from his first loss, or yeah, I think his first loss to Charles Bennett, it's come a long, long way. So this weekend we'll get a chance to see. Who wins the belt, and who in fact is is a better fighter? I think KJ Noons has Nick Diaz's number, and this is coming from a guy who's a big Diaz fan. Both Nick and Nate Diaz fan. I'm a huge fan of both guys. Have tremendous respect for him, even though they talk him on the trash. But the guys are just so talented. You, you can't turn that down. But no matter how good Nick is, KJ just he can figure it him out. He's one of those guys that. That on paper shouldn't beat Nick Diaz, but when you see them go at it, like when it turns out and you turn the TV on, and you're like, "What the hell am I watching?" Like when I first, when I saw the first fight, I was shocked. My jaw was on the ground. I couldn't believe that the same guy that got beat down by Charles Bennett is now beating up Nick Diaz. It was hard to watch. Nick Diaz didn't look in good shape. I think he's going to talk so much trash is going to cost him. I don't necessarily want to see a finish in this fight. I want to see it go the full distance. Well, the the buildup of animosity between both guys over the last three years and uh, the recent return of KJ, I think this is going to be a fight that Nick Diaz is probably going to um, look pretty stupid in. He's going to call him out. He's going to disrespect him, his family, his father, more importantly. He's going to downgrade him. He's going to disrespect him before the weigh-ins, <laughs> after the weigh-ins, before the uh, pre-fight press conference. I can't even speak. I'm spinning all over the place. It, it's going to be uh, not a good look for Nick to talk that money trash. But, I don't know, I just got a weird feeling this, is, this isn't going to be a good fight for Nick. Um, but you can never count out KJ though. That's another thing. KJ is tough. Like I said, he's the first, well, not the first, but he's one of the guys, uh, coming from the boxing world, entering MMA, and has really looked improved and, um, took the transition well. You know, most transitions happen from wrestling to MMA, but, uh, he's coming from boxing, so he, he does his distance well. He throws kicks in volumes. He's good with timing. He's good with cutting angles. Um, attacking from different angles, picking his shots, um, but he throws in volume. He likes he likes to really mix him up, similar to the Jeremy Stevens type of guy. Um, I would say he was a brawler, but he's smart at it when he fights Nick. It seems like uh, Nick is really good. KJ is good. 
but because of the, the vast difference in the skill level, it would make KJ that much better come fight night. And in the rematch, it just doesn't make a good uh, good recipe um, for Nick. It's more of like a recipe for disaster than anything else. But, yeah, I'm tired. Um, you know what, though? I still want to see the fight. I think it's going to be a good one. But you could look forward to seeing the scrap. This could be fight of the, the year, maybe. Who knows? I'm hoping it is. I'm hoping it goes all five. Uh, but we'll see what happens. Hopefully Nick can pull through with this. Um, get the rematch going in his favor. And then fight Mayhem down the line and beat him and shut him up too. And then uh, leave Strike Force and go to the UFC. Those are my plans. So Nick Diaz beat KJ Nunes. Please. Beat down Mayhem and shut him the hell up. Please, please. And then go to the UFC and fight whoever they throw at you. Um... I would like to see you fight um uh Matt Sarah. I don't know why. It's weird. But anyway, so those are my thoughts on this rematch happening this Saturday. So this is my prediction video for News vs Diaz two or Diaz vs News two, however you want to word it. And uh, thanks for watching. Catch you guys later. Enjoy the fights this Saturday. Hopefully I can get a chance to to check them out too. Got a lot going on this weekend. All right, folks. Peace.